Actually, my girlfriend says I'm really lucky to have one man that can give me everything. Because she has to go out with two guys. <laughs> this is true. One of her boyfriends is rich and handsome. He has a great car and a great job. And the other one is straight. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got all dressed up. And I usually say to my husband, I said, how do I look? And he said, you look fine. Fine, not what we want to hear. What we want to hear is fabulous, sexy, thin. Is this too much to ask? Wouldn't it be great if your man was like a chatty cat? It's, a, it's that old dog with the string in the back of its neck. Does anybody remember that? You pull the string and he'd say all the things you always wanted to hear. You pull the string and he'd say, I'm turning the Super Bowl off to go to the mall with you. <laughs> pull the string again, sweetheart, I have gas. I'm going into the next room. <laughs> pull the string again, I'm lost. Let's ask for directions. <laughs> Of course, the guys are thinking it'd be better if it's a girl doll, right? No, <laughs> not that kind of a doll. <laughs> you pull the string and we'd say, nothing. <laughs> yeah, my husband teased me, teases me about my voice. I have a funny voice, saying it really hurts my feelings. Sometimes he says to me, would you shut up? Could you stop talking? Would you just hush up your voice? Just shut up, just shut up, just shut up. And I just keep talking and talking and talking. I tell him my voice comes in handy when those Jehovah's Witnesses come around. You get, do you get them out here? Very much, it's kind of hilly, they can't ride that bike everywhere. <laughs> farm with pigs and cows and horses and when we get romantic he likes me to scream e-i-e-i-o uh, that's the truth unfortunately <laughs> one morning on the farm he gave me six chickens for my birthday isn't that great soon we had 286 chickens and he said let's eat the chickens i said eat the children he said let's eat the eggs i said eat the babies babies I said, you go to the grocery store and get some of those homeless eggs. Those I might eat. <laughs> I've been lonesome on the farm. You know, I just start talking to, you know, I start talking and talking to myself. I feel like I, get, I wake up in the morning and I just, what are you going to do today? <laughs> and the high point of the day is when the mailman comes. The mailman won't even stop to talk to me anymore. He just throws the package on the front door. <laughs> Is it just my husband or do all men separate their laundry like this? <laughs> Clean. <laughs> dirty. What do you do when they do this one? <laughs> I'm thinking it's dirty. He says it's good for one more wear. <laughs> Is it just my husband or do all men have to save every t-shirt from the last 25 years? He had on this gross black ripped up thing and I said, throw that out. I said, no, nah, it's the first time I got drunk and spit up on myself. <laughs> I mean, when you throw a t-shirt out that says the Partridge Family World Tour. <laughs> and we have boys, we have boys, so you know, you know my boys like my, well, now it's, I have two boys and I have a husband, so that's three boys. It's because they get to do things that men just love to do on a farm. They get to go to the bathroom outside, <laughs> play in dirt, and hang around with other pigs. <laughs> uh, my first baby was 10 and a half pounds. Instead of, yeah, I should wait for that one. Instead of a birth certificate, they gave him a driver's license. People would ask him, what did I crave? I said, a surrogate mother. My body felt like the little Volkswagen in the circus. You remember in the circus when the clowns kept coming out and coming out? My husband said, let's do this naturally. I said, naturally, I want to take as many drugs as I could possibly take. Because I never took any drugs. Like, I, I thought this was my LSD trick. <laughs> the doctor came in with a shot that's called an epidural. He says it deadens her. He, the doctor told my husband it deadens her from the, the waist down. And he said, she doesn't need it. She's already dead. <laughs> Yes, and we, he wanted to name my son Moses. Moses Joseph, so we can nickname him Mojo. <laughs> oh my. 
but you've been so great. And before I leave, I just have one thing. Do you mind I do something that I always wanted to do? You know, my dream was not to become a stand-up comic, really. It was to become a dancer. Marcos. Marcos.